I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. And welcome back to Hotel Dusk Room. No, uh, no, it's fuck. Not dusk. I'm sorry. This isn't it's Hotel Cape Dusk. West. Fuck. I, I'm. That's gonna happen a lot. Welcome to Last Window, uh, Secret of Cape West. Uh, we just got a a letter. We, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. I right wonder, at the front door. Oh, wonder who it's from. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what the? Get out of my fucking apartment building. Mr. Hoyt, I understand that you don't look at your letters very often, so I figured I'd just deliver it up to you. By the way, it's another charge. I pick <laughs> it up and take a look. What the hell is this? No name, nothing. Hey, they kept the sound effect the same. Nice. Looks like I got me an anonymous in this letter. Oh god, fuck. Oh god. What's happening? I take the anonymous okay. letter <laughs> into my room. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Damn, I gotta be out of this place within the month? I didn't see that one coming, did you, Kyle? Jeff is still here. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Look at our... Is that Louis Armstrong? That guy. I see Mila nowhere. <gasps> Where did she go? <laughs> Maybe she's in the bathroom. Uh, 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 there's a cutscene. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm just putting my suitcase down. Is she in the suitcase? I place my suitcase on the table next to the wall. My trusty case has certainly seen its fair share of action. Feels like I've been dragged the thing. Feels like I've been dragging the thing around all my life. Inherited it from my old man after he died. Started putting it to good use after quitting the force and working for Ed. Since then, we've pretty much gone everywhere together. That was a shitty line delivery. <laughs> Drop my jacket on the sofa. <gasps> We're gonna see him jacketless. Oh, I'm swearing another one. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? All right. I should take another look at that letter. I open the envelope and unfold the note. Inside I find a typed letter reading. Item, locate the Scarlet Star, which disappeared at Hotel Cape West 25 years ago. An order? What kind of order is this? Getting an order directly from a client never happens. This has got to be some sort of joke. Put the letter on the table. <gasps> Rachel! 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 <laughs> that the phone? The ringing suddenly stops. Oh, no, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> That's weird. Rachel always waits for me. The lamp on the answering phone is flashing. Phone. We have the option of answering There's a phone. phone. There's an answer phone hooked up. Makes me feel less guilty about ignoring calls. Eject. First thing I hear on the tape is a young woman's voice. Oh, hang on. Could that maybe be Rachel? Yep. Yep. Voice of a nightingale. That's our Rachel. You will push it off the pool. It even this time. What are you gonna do? Don't get behind. Go that. Don't get blind drunk and do something stupid. Okay. I'll call him in the morning. Damn. Looks like Ed wasn't just letting off steam this time. Beep. Looks like there's another message recorded. Hear the voice of a man I don't recognize. Kyle Hyde. Who the hell's that? I have an order for you. Oh, no, <laughs> this is <Gorkrof. laughs> It's gonna be really funny when we find out who this guy is. The request has been taken directly to your room. Beep. It's gonna be Bradley. I feel like it's Bradley. Yo! If it was, though... 
What? No, nah, he would recognize the voice immediately, though. Yeah, I guess. What did he say? The request was brought directly to my room. At least there's no doubt where that letter came from now. If only color ID was invented. <laughs> I knew there was something not quite right about that letter. I'd better take another look. He, just, he gave like that good, like, yosh. <laughs> Yo. Whoa, why are we in a different part of the room? Huh. Hang on, did you see that? Yeah. Like, we were here before. Did he, like, move the phone? Yeah, right. Wait, we have to check the letter. Oh, yeah, you're right. So what the fuck did he do with Mila? Did he literally sell her for an apartment or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I reread the letter I found jammed in the door. Item, locate the Scarlet Star which disappeared at Hotel Cape West 25 years ago. So first I need to find out what the Scarlet Star is. Actually, come to think of it, is this even a genuine order? Well, one thing's for sure. This was a hotel 13 years ago. But why is something from that long ago appearing on an order? Moreover, what the hell is a Scarlet Star? It's 11. Wow, time is advancing much more quickly. As the night drags on, the fatigue drags me to my bed. Not exactly a sound night's rest. Can't recall how many times I woke up. Just can't seem to fall into one of those deep slumbers. Four years ago, after quitting the force and leaving Manhattan- I swear to God, if he shows the fucking cutscene again! <laughs> <laughs> I ended up working for Ed. He knew all about my past, but still gave me work. Ed introduced me to the world of locating things that didn't want to be found. This special service isn't publicized, but it's proved to be quite a flourishing business. But now Ed's canned me, and it's all come to an end. Then this. Why'd such a bizarre order make its way directly to me? These kinds of things normally go through Ed first. Does this mean that his little side business isn't as secret as he thinks? Even if that's the case, it doesn't explain why I've been roped into this. <clears throat> I realize I'm not going to get to sleep and stop trying. I slip out of bed, head to the window, and jump out. <laughs> <laughs> As I lean on the glass, I take in the view that stretches out before me. And I jump out. And I jump out. <laughs> Should be looking right at the old LA night I know so well. But tonight, something feels slightly different. As I idly stare through the glass at what's beyond, my mind wanders back to the day's events. Oh no, are we uh, doing... Yeah, there we go. It's December 18th, 1980. Ed gave me my marching orders and I dragged myself home. There was someone waiting in the lobby when I got there. Right, that's what I ran into. Tony! Right. I met Tony right after I got in the door. He was the one who dropped the bombshell about these apartments closing. After Tony and I went our separate ways, I got into a conversation with Maddox. Curiosity got the better of me and I decided why, to ask why she decided to sell the place. The reason she gave was that she had her own reasons. It was because my mailbox was full. <laughs> Mags is feeling the strain of running this place alone and decided to sell. She couldn't take seeing my mailbox being filled up. <laughs> she also mentioned another reason for selling, but wouldn't elaborate. After that, I checked my mailboxes, agreed, and went up to my room. I opened the door just like any other night and went inside. There were a couple of messages waiting for me on the answer phone. The second one caught my attention. It was... From Rachel. From Gorkrup. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The voice I heard wasn't one I recognized, but if I were to guess, he would have had bulging eyes, coral blue number 62, and Goku hair. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that he'd left me in order to locate something for him. I'd normally get this kind of thing from Ed, but this time it came directly to me. It didn't exactly instill the most positive of feelings inside me. <sighs> December 18th, 1980. I waited in my apartment mulling over what my next step was. But I had an uneasy feeling and I couldn't seem to shake it. At that point, I didn't have any clue about the bigger picture. The Scarlet Star. Something lost at Hotel Cape West some 25 years ago. Mine. 
Why did that <laughs> order sheet come directly to me? And how does this all connect to the past? I'm worried this search might set me on a path to something I might not want to know. Ooh! Game and that over. was it. You can now read the events of this chapter in the Last Window novel, written by Martin Summer. <laughs> oh, God. Do we still sign our name the same? You we sure I, do. Yeah, I feel like I, I want to try signing my, my bank statements like this now. Uh-oh. You know, <gasps> Only two check marks. This time. Uh -huh. There we go. One time me and Steve went to Applebee's with a bunch of our friends, and you know how I signed. <laughs> you know what I signed? What? Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> DK Jr. So is my daddy's name. <laughs> Cape West, room 202. I'm a sleepy boy. Just kidding. Mysterious order. This reminds me of, like, the fucking trailers they would have in Sonic Adventure 2. Sleepless Night. Right. Chapter 2. December 19th, 1980. And that's where we're gonna end it for today. If you like the day, the like the day, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell if you want to fucking see when we upload. Question of the day. What have you guys have like tried to do to try and like keep up with rent? Like say if, like like if, have you got, have has anyone have uh, ever like have you ever like, been, a whore? been behind on on rent? <laughs> what do you guys do as a very emergency like out for that? Put that shit in the comments below. I'm Bottles. I'm Maury. See you later.